Coming up in this edition of Rocky 11 Now Weekly, find out what the mayor and council are considering for the former 18-hole golf course red game. And there's Uber, Lyft, now ride on Flex. The county has a new way to get you where you want to go. We'll tell you all about it. And their mission is to help start, sustain, and grow women-owned enterprises in the state. We're shining a spotlight on the Maryland Women's Business Center. More news, more often, right now. This is Rock 11 Now Weekly, so let's get into it. The mayor and council vote to use a master planning process that would include public input to help determine the future of the former 18-hole golf course red game. But first, the mayor and council will wait until an ongoing strategic planning process called the Parks, Recreation and Open Space Plan, or PROS Plan, is complete before making final decisions on the approach to the master planning process. The PROS Plan sets goals and objectives for the future of parks, trails, recreation facilities, programs, and services within the city, and will be central to the mayor and council's effort to shape plans for the Red Gate property. The PROS Plan is expected to be presented to the mayor and council by the end of 2019. For more information on this latest development, check out the article in July's Rockville Reports. And to watch the mayor and council's latest discussion on Redgate, head to rockvillemd.gov slash agenda center and select the TV icon next to the June 17th agenda item. You can call an Uber, but you can't call an Uber for $2. The Montgomery County Department of Transportation unveils its on-demand response transit pilot program called Ride on Flex. The 11 passenger buses will be available in Rockville, Glenmont, and Wheaton Ride on Service areas. Ride on Flex runs during regular service hours. The difference is there are no fixed stops or schedules, and you just book a ride by using the mobile app and only pay the standard ride on fare that's no more than $2. We're very excited that the zone chosen also includes Rockville Town Center because we believe this is uh, very important to the vitality of Rockville and we believe that uh, the Town Center has a lot to offer. For more information including schedules and how to download the app, just head to rideonflex.com. Whether by wheels or walking, we all have to share the streets. And Rockville wants you to know how to get where you're going safely. Be seen and be safe. Make yourself visible to drivers. Wear lightly colored or reflective clothing at night. When possible, use marked crosswalks or signalized intersections when crossing the street. In Rockville, there are accessible pedestrian signals on all city controlled traffic lights. If there is no crosswalk, be sure to find a well-lit spot on the road to cross. Look before you cross, even making eye contact with the driver. Never assume the driver can see you. And always remember to walk on the sidewalk. If there's no sidewalk and you have to walk in the road, be sure to walk facing traffic so you can see and be seen by oncoming traffic. Still to come on Rock 11 Now Weekly, we're shining a spotlight on the Maryland Women's Business Center right after this. create businesses at more than twice the rate of men, but there are a lot of obstacles to starting a business. Thankfully, there's a women empowerment nonprofit that's headquartered in Rockville that can smooth out that bumpy road to success. The Maryland Women's Business Center has a mission to help start, sustain, and grow women-owned enterprises. Our vision is to be one of the regional leaders in supporting successful and innovative women entrepreneurs that will help strengthen Maryland's economy. 
the Maryland Women's Business Center offers specialized seminars and workshops, one-on-one -on -one and group business counseling, and access to a variety of business resources. We have a number of volunteers that will come in and provide expertise in whatever their area is. So it could be accounting, it could be an attorney that will come in and provide pro bono, legal services. All of those things are available to clients through the Maryland Women's Business Center. Established back in November 2010 as the Rockville Women's Business Center, this nonprofit served as a special initiative by Rockville Economic Development Incorporated to help women business owners in Montgomery County. And it came out of a feasibility study that was done with Citibank. They saw there was a need for a resource that provided specific services to women entrepreneurs in the area, and there was none. Three years later, they became a certified women's business center by the Small Business Administration. That brought a name change and the ability to expand their vital services across the state. In 2014, they were able to open satellite offices in both Frederick and Prince George's counties. By reaching more women entrepreneurs across the state, the center delivers a tremendous impact on Maryland's economy. What we have been able to do just in the three counties that we're currently occupying and providing services in is help 41 businesses get started. We were able to help them increase their sales by 1.9 million and to get access to capital which amounted to 2.6 million dollars. The Maryland Women's Business Center assists more than 1,500 women each year to gain the skills, connections, and confidence necessary to navigate entrepreneurship. But why stop there? The work that we have done has already proven that the impact that we're having is tremendous for the state of Maryland, and if we were able to get additional resources to expand into other counties, it would be that much more impactful. For more information about the Maryland Women's Business Center and to get assistance, head to marylandwbc.org. For Rock 11 Now Weekly, I'm Craig Buchanan. That's going to do it for this edition of Rocky 11 Now Weekly. Remember, you can check out the latest happenings on our online newsletter at rockvillereports.com. And join in on the conversation and check out our posts by signing up for Nextdoor at nextdoor.com. And keep up with Rockville 11 by subscribing to our City of Rockville YouTube channel. And you can follow us on Twitter at Rockville 11, on Instagram at city underscore of underscore Rockville, and like us on Facebook. For the entire Rockville 11 team, I'm Kathy Dantzler. Until next week, Rockville.